Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. In today's video, I have another trash to treasure for you guys. I'm making this super cute bowl that can either be like a fruit bowl or a planter or anything you'd like to display in it. Perfect for fall or winter time also. And I have these cute little crocs that I've painted and can be also be used as little planters or can be used to hold utensils next to your stove or displayed as pottery or however you want to use these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will chat with you guys at the end. The first project we're going to make is uh, it can either be a planter or a like a bowl, a fruit bowl or a bowl that holds um, some kind of like vase filler or something like that. So what you're going to need, I went to I went to Goodwill and I picked up this bowl. It was $7.99, but at Goodwill today, all the yellow tags were 50% off, so it was $4. And then I went over to Hobby Lobby and I just picked up these little knob things. They're flat on one side, so I'm gonna put little legs on. And then I'm going to use some chalk paint and some stain. So this is gonna be super simple. And these were, $3.99 and I used my 40% off coupon, so like $2.50 or something. So, you know, super cheap. This four, five, six fifty, because I have all the other materials I need. So let's get started and I will show you how I make this. So you will see here in the beginning that I started out trying to do like a whitewashing technique on this bowl. So I was I had watered down the chalk paint and brushed it on with my little sponge brush and then wiped some of it off and I just really didn't love the effect that it was giving me. So you'll see after I try this, I end up going back and just painting it with the chalk paint and I liked that a lot better. So when I stained these little feet and then I wiped the extra stain off, it was kind of cool. It was like they, it left a middle ring around it as if I had distressed it. So I loved that effect and I didn't have to do any distressing to it. And I just wanted to do the feet in a darker color to contrast with the bowl. I just thought it added a little bit more character than painting it all white.
So as you can see here, I'm just lightly distressing the outside of the bowl. I wasn't too particular on painting the inside. I just wanted it to get it white so you couldn't really see much wood sticking out. But for the most part, I'm going to have this bowl filled. So I wasn't worried about completely covering the inside with the white paint. Here is how this little, I right now I'm kind of using it as a little bit like of a planter, but you could put some artificial fruit in here, or this will be super cute on a dining room table centerpiece with some pumpkins for the fall and some, you know, acorns and leaves and stuff sticking out of it. At Christmas time, you could put some pine sprigs and pine cones, and I, you can just decorate this however you want. So um, this is one way. Another way is like if I was, still decorating in the lemon theme like I did earlier in the summer you could I could put I have a bunch of artificial lemons you could fill that up with this so anyways this was super cute different this was just a standard salad bowl that I found at uh, Goodwill and it there were so many of them really so I've seen these every time I go so that's pretty easy to find and then those little feet are I just found at Hobby Lobby and they were like two bucks so this thing turned out great just distressed it a little bit. You could totally customize this. You could stencil something on the sides. You could paint this different color. So whatever works for you. So this is just one idea using it as a planter, but there's a lot of different ways that you can use this. Okay, so the next trash to treasure I got are, I picked up these two Crocs and I love the Crocs with the two handles. So, and they happen to have two. I went first and I got just this brown one and I'm like, got thinking the whole next day and I'm like, I should get two because that would be great like on either side as a centerpiece with, you know, lamb's ear and cotton or um, crocs for the kitchen, for kitchen utensils and stuff. So I went back and grabbed the other one. Luckily it was still there. So these were $5.99 and I don't think they were a percent off today. So $5.99 and I'm going back and forth if I want to spray paint these white or gray. I'm leaning towards the gray because I don't know I feel like everything I have is white and I just kind of want to do something a little different and I do use a lot of gray also so I'm going to try gray and if I don't end up liking it then I can always do white. So I'm just going to take these outside and give them a good spray paint and then I haven't decided yet if I'm going to stencil something on the outside. I just want to see how they come out first. So here are how the urns turned out. I think they're beautiful. I like you could leave them just like this. I am just going to add a little stencil to the outside and just going to do the little um, numbers 
like the farmhouse numbers on the outside of each one of them in black. Just add a little something, but you wouldn't have to. You could add some greenery and florals or something in this and it would be just beautiful. Or put it by your stove with your cooking utensils and that would be amazing also. So the paint turned out beautiful. So I am just going to add these stencils and see how it looks. So I'm gonna use this folk art acrylic paint in plaid and then I have these stencils that I did pick up from uh, Hobby Lobby and they were $4.99 I used my 40% off coupon so they were like three dollars or something so anyways I'm going to add those to see how this looks So here are these with the stencils. I love it with the stencils. I think it just adds that cute little farmhouse touch. I'm so happy I decided to go with gray, although white would look just as beautiful. So this here I just have it displayed with some greenery. So this is just my little standard plant that I always pick up at Hobby Lobby. I love this. It just makes a nice filler, but I look most likely I'm going to put lamb's ear and cotton stems in these or I'm probably going to use one of these next to my stove as like a utensil holder. I'll show you how that looks here in a minute. Here's another way you can use this. I just have this next to my stove holding some of my wooden utensils and my Ray Dunn serving uh, utensils. So this is just another way that you can use this. So I love these little urns. This would also look so pretty just in my hutch in my dining room even without anything in it just as pottery to display so again you could paint these white you could paint these the really pretty like mossy green or any colors that work for you but these are really great to pick up at the thrift store and first i think what did i say 5.99 each that this was a super cheap inexpensive pro project and it just made a huge difference and last time here I have it just displayed with the bowl that I made and this would make a super pretty centerpiece on a table or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Trash to Treasure video, these two super simple projects, but I think that they look drastically different than they came home looking like and I think they're practical and useful and I saved a lot of money taking somebody's trash and turning it into a treasure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram if you get a chance and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.